All right, guys, let's talk a little bit about Amazon.com. What is all the fuss and why should we be on this platform? For starters, let's take a look at the company. So it just became the second company in history to reach the trillion dollar valuation after Apple did it one month later in August 2018. So that was quite a milestone. So if you've got some stock going there, you're looking pretty. Um, it just keeps growing and growing with all its innovation in different sectors uh, of business. It has over 100 million loyal Amazon Prime members. So these are subscribers that come back again and again, spending more money than non-subscribers because they trust it. Their credit card is on file. That is powerful. It's over 80% of US households coming back to this trusted marketplace. Um, Amazon actually is the largest advertiser on Google. So when we do have a product on the Amazon marketplace, it's likely we'll end up on Google because Amazon will spend their marketing dollars for us to get us there. Now, last year alone, they spent over $10 billion making them the number one advertiser on the Google marketplace. And here's the real amazing number that we just uh, scraped from Statista.com. So as of July 2018, they're reporting between desktop and mobile visits. They had over 2.6 billion visitors to the Amazon.com marketplace. That is just the U.S. based marketplace, not the entire company. So folks, that is a lot of fish, um, a lot of consumers that are looking for products. And the more products, services that we have on this platform, the better chance we're going to get to grow our brand and sell more stuff. All right. So um, having said that, I want you to start thinking of Amazon in a different way. Well, we usually think of um, Amazon as the place to get, you know, our soap, our laundry detergent, our dog food, whatever it is delivered in two hours or to 48 hours, depending on where you live. Um, and, and that's really convenient and great, but I want you guys to start thinking of it in a different way. See, Amazon is a marketplace, right? It's not only that Amazon sells their products on this marketplace. There is a whole community of people selling products and services on this platform. We're all coming together. And it's like, if you can imagine this tree is sort of the, the center of the community where we're all coming together to, you know, buy and sell and trade things. That is what the Amazon marketplace is. In fact, of over 500 million of the items that are in the Amazon catalog right now, half of those are coming from third party sellers like you and I. Okay. So it's not just Amazon selling their own wares. It's others that we come together and um, buy and sell to each other as well. Okay. Not only for physical products. If you're sitting there thinking, you know what, this doesn't apply to me. I'm a plumber. That is not the case. In fact, Amazon has now started booking local service providers and referring them to customers all in one fell swoop. In fact, it happened to me when I ordered a shower head the next day, the plumber came to install. Um, it was prepaid. The entire transaction was set up. Um, scheduled and paid through the Amazon platform. So Amazon is for every type of business. It's just a marketplace with a whole lot of cogwheels going on up there. And, you know, just to highlight the different types of products that you're going to find, it's more than physical products. Um, there's games, apps, Alexa skills, audiobooks, digital products, videos, business services, um, ebooks, all kinds of things that happen and are available on this marketplace. In fact, if you take a look at the category drop-down box when you go to amazon.com, these categories are updated and changing every single day. In fact, did you know that they sell cars on this platform? It's pretty incredible, right? So keep an eye there, it's a lot of fun. The different products that get onto this marketplace, there's different uh, portals is what I like to say. Uh, different avenues that we take to get a product listed on a on this marketplace. So if, for example, you're selling a physical product, you would go to sellercentral.amazon.com. If you were selling handmade items, you would go through handmade.amazon.com. If you were selling uh, print-on-demand t-shirts, um, just uploading your designs, you would go to merch.amazon.com. If you were 
um, registering as a nonprofit, you would go to Smile. So you get 